Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Total Body Sculpt. My name is Bryn. If you're new to this class or any of our exercise classes online, please make sure you consult with a doctor or your physical therapist first. We're going to get started with a warm up, and then we have two circuits today. Each circuit is going to be six exercises. We're going to do two rounds of each circuit. First one's going to be standing, second one's going to be on, our, uh, on the ground. All right, let's start by just getting everything warmed up, getting our heart rate up. It's just my camera. There we go. Okay. So let's start in a nice wide stance. We're going to do a little side lunge and twist opposite hand to your foot. And keep going here. Again, we're just getting the heart rate up, getting our blood flowing. Warm up those muscles. All right, from here, let's transition into some skaters. So we're gently jumping from side to side, twisting the torso towards the side for jumping to. Few more here, then we're gonna do some body weight squats. All right, let's set up our feet underneath our hips, shoulders down and back, belly button pulls in, and then we bend the knees, push the hips back one, two, good. A few more here. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Let's do three more. Two, three. Awesome. Let's end with either jumping jacks or you're gonna step out and in. Out and in if the jumping is a little too much. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and shake it out. All right, our first exercise. So, like I said, the first circuit, six exercises, two rounds. We're going to do a combination of upper body, lower body, core, a little bit of cardio. So, for our first exercise, we're going to do a RDL or deadlift into a bicep curl. So grab a weight that you normally do for your bicep curl for this one. We're gonna do this one for 40 seconds. So my feet are underneath my hips. My shoulders are down and back. I have a soft bend in my knees. So as I bring my hands towards, slide my hands toward my knees, I'm keeping a flat back. Main thing here, so we can really feel this in our glutes. We're gonna push our hips behind us and then squeeze the glutes as we pull back to standing. And then from there, like I said, we're gonna alternate that with a bicep curl. So getting multiple muscle groups in. We have 40 seconds here in three, two, one. So again, feet underneath the hips. We hinge forward, keeping a flat back, pull the belly button in, stand up nice and tall, squeeze the glutes, and bicep curl. So go ahead. And go at your own pace here. Don't go too fast though. You don't want to rush through these movements. Make sure you're pushing those hips back into your RDL, keeping your hands and the dumbbells really, really close to your legs. Try not to let them come out here. That's not going to feel great on the back. Curl. Awesome. Almost there. We have three, two, one. Awesome. The next one is going to be more core focused. For this one, you can use a weight. You can hold one weight horizontally. We're going to do a uh, march with a twist. So you're lifting up one knee and then twisting towards that knee, really feeling those obliques working. Let's get started in three, two, one. So we're going to do 20 seconds to one side. Try to exhale as we twist. Again, you can hold a weight here if you want to. So if you really pull your belly button in, squeeze and engage those core muscles, you're gonna feel it even without the weight. Awesome, one more here, let's switch sides. And switch. So you're tapping the foot down and then coming right back into the march. Again, twisting towards your knee that you're lifting, pulling the belly button in. This is like a reverse crunch. You have three, two, one. And shake it out. Our next exercise, we're gonna go back to what we did in the warm up with those body weight squats, but we're gonna add something. So we're gonna do two squats down and up, and then add three pulses in between. So we have two squats, and then we pulse one, two, three, and then repeat. All right, follow along in three, two, one, feet underneath the hips. We squat down and up, two and up. Now we pulse, pulse, two three and repeat. We have one, two, we pulse one, 
two, three, good, keep going. Squat down, one, two, pulse, one, two, three, almost there. Two, pulse, one, two, three, good. We have 10 more seconds left. Squat, push those hips back, two, and pulse, two, three. Try to do one more squat here. We have three, two, one, and rest. All right, next we're gonna work the arms a little bit. I'm gonna grab a weight that's about half the weight of what I did for my bicep curl at first exercise. From here, we're just gonna hinge forward. You can bring one foot forward, make it a little bit easier. You wanna keep a flat back here. We're gonna row both elbows back. So this is our starting position. And now from here, we're just doing a tricep extension. So go ahead and get started with that if you haven't already. Again, grab a lighter weight here. Flat back, we're hinging over just slightly. So keep your arms starting in that rowing 90 degree position and then just extend from there. So the elbow basically stays in the same place and we're extending both arms at the same time. Doesn't matter which foot you have lunging forward, the best position for your hand or you can do both feet together. Just make sure you're keeping that back flat, belly button in. Awesome, we have three, two, one, and let's drop those weights down. Shake it out, go into our active recovery. Our next exercise is going to be a side crunch. So we're gonna reach nice and long, same side arm and leg. We're gonna come down, same side elbow to knee. Let's do 20 seconds on one side. Go ahead and get started once you're ready. So not a ton of time for breaks because this circuit really is focusing on strength. So we're adding in that cardio aspect by not taking a ton of rest time between each exercise. All right, and let's switch sides after this one. Good, so we're doing the same side, elbow to knee. Try to exhale as you come down, feel that oblique. They don't have to actually touch your elbow and knee, but it's that motion coming down and engaging those muscles along your side. Perfect, and rest. All right, last exercise in the circuit. We'll take a quick break and then do a second round. We're gonna grab those lighter weights again. So definitely don't use your bicep curl weight, use a lighter weight for this one. We're gonna do a single arm lateral raise. So you're bringing your arm out to the side and then let's alternate. So we'll do one side and then the other. So make sure you're keeping, go ahead and get started if you haven't already. Make sure you're keeping those shoulders down and back. Don't try not to use your shoulders to help you bring that arm up. Keep pushing the shoulder down. As you lift, palms are facing the ground. Shoulders stay down. We're alternating sides here. So I like to bring my arms slightly forward with this one so it's not totally out to the side, just feel slightly more comfortable. Make sure your belly button is in, your cage is closed. Awesome. We have three, two, one and rest. All right, grab some water. And then we're gonna do that exact same thing one more time. So now that we've done it once, you know if you wanna use a weight, if you wanna use a heavier weight, a lighter weight, or just use your body weight, for example. So our first exercise we're gonna go back to is the RDL alternating with the bicep curl. So as we hinge forward, we're keeping our weight sliding along our thighs. Don't feel like you need to go past the knees here. This is plenty of space right here. Pushing those hips behind us and then standing up nice and tall, shoulders out and back as we curl up for our bicep curl. So, oh my gosh, I'm going to your weights for a second. All right, grab your weights. Definitely try to grab something a little heavier for this one, but something that you know you can do a bicep curl with. We are gonna get started ah, in three, two, one. So hinging forward at the hips, push your hips behind you, stand up nice and tall and curl. And repeat at your own pace, but don't go too fast, excuse me. So we're halfway through here. Quality over quantity, so don't feel like you have to rush through these movements. Really feel your glutes. Feel the stretch in your glutes as you hinge forward. 
and then squeeze your glutes together at the top. Get those biceps working. Let's do one more rep here. Awesome, and rest. All right, we're going into that march with the core twist. Next, again, if you want to use a weight, you are more than welcome to. For this one, you can also take out a march and just do the twist, whatever works for you. I'm gonna do just my body weight. Let's get started in three, two, one. So we're doing one side at a time for 30 seconds. So lifting up that knee and twisting towards the knee that you're lifting. Yeah, this is kind of like a bicycle that you do on your back, but standing. Awesome core exercise. And let's switch after this one, switch sides here. So tapping the foot down, bringing it right back up. Try to exhale as you twist and lift. You really feel those abdominal muscles engaging. Pull the belly button in towards your spine. A few more seconds here. Three two, one, and rest. All right, next we're going into those two bodyweight squats into three pulses. Again, if you want to add a weight here, you're more than welcome to. I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, so for this one, we have our feet underneath our hips, shoulders down and back, belly button pulled in towards our spine. We're bending the knees, go ahead and get started. We're bending the knees, pushing your hips back, making sure we're not looking straight down towards the ground. We're keeping our focus slightly up. And then we pulse two, three, and repeat. We have one and up, two and up. Pulse one, two, three. Pulse, or sorry, not pulse, squat and up. And now we pulse two, three. Perfect. We keep repeating. We have 12 more seconds here. We pulse two, three. So I kind of have my gaze kind of diagonal down. So I'm not looking straight up. I'm keeping like a straight line from the back of my head to my spine. Pulse, two, three, and rest. All right, what are we doing next? Next, we're going back into that tricep extension. So grab your lighter weights for this one, unless you want a really big challenge for those triceps. We're hinging forward, 100 feet together. One foot forward, whatever is comfortable for you. We're bringing both elbows back. This is our starting position in this low row position. From here, we extend both arms and bring them in, extend and in. If both at the same time is uncomfortable or doesn't feel right, you can always alternate sides. Whatever works for you in this workout, I'm happy with. As long as you're moving, getting your heart rate up, engaging all of the muscles. Less than 10 seconds left. Make sure you're still keeping the core engaged, belly button in. We have three, two, one, and rest. We are going into that side crunch again. So I'm reaching nice and long, reach same side hand and foot away from each other, and then exhale, pull it all in and reach again. All right, let's get started. 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. So we come down crunch and reach again. You don't have to touch necessarily, but think about more if you're like moving your elbow and knee through honey. Really feel that oblique engaging. Awesome, and now let's switch sides. Pulling the arm down through honey, lifting the knee up through some honey. I think that visual helps. Exhale as you come down. Inhale, reach nice and long. We have three, two, one. All right, now we're going to grab those lighter weights again. Last exercise here before we make our way down to the ground for our second circuit, second and last circuit. So we roll the shoulders down and back, one arm at a time, lifting out to the side. And again, it's more com comfortable for you. Bring your arms slightly forward. Don't feel like you have to go directly out to the side. Some of our shoulders just don't like that. So let's roll the shoulders down and back, belly button in, and we're alternating sides here. Go ahead and get started. Make sure you're pushing the shoulder down and back. Try not to let it creep up to help you lift the arm. It's definitely not gonna make it easier and it's gonna feel uncomfortable. Awesome. 
Almost there, less than 10 seconds left. Awesome, we have three, two, one, and rest. All right, everyone take a minute, grab some water. We're gonna make our way down onto the floor. I think we're doing, yeah, we're doing all of these exercises lying down on our back. Bring your bicep curl weights to the ground with you. We're gonna do a chest press. Everything else is gonna be pretty much body weight. Pull my table forward. Uh, all right, that's over here. Easily reach that. Perfect. All right, like I said, grab some water or coffee if you're crazy like me. I know it's almost six o'clock. Okay, we are starting with my favorite, the dead bug. So as always, you can do your own variation of this. I'll break it down, start off with like the simplest form and then work its way up. So for our dead bug, we're gonna start with our legs and tabletop position. We're actively reaching up towards the ceiling. Feel your shoulder blades slightly lift off the table. And as that happens, feel your belly button pull more in towards your spine, down towards the floor. Now from here, we can start with just some heel taps, one leg at a time, just tapping and coming right back up. The next variation of this, we're going to extend one leg out and pull it in. From here, we can add the arm, one arm with it. So opposite arm and leg extends and then pull everything back into center, making sure you're keeping your low back flat on the ground. Now the next variation of this, you're going to extend both arms and legs and pull everything back in. All right, so go ahead and keep going with that. I have my timer on my watch if it wants to load. It's not really on here. Here we go. All right, keep going with your dead bug. Let's do another 20 seconds here and then we'll move on to the next exercise, which is one that we haven't done in a while. I kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Good, we have three, two, one, and relax. All right, this next one, we're gonna do a bridge into a single leg extension. So starting with our feet flat on the ground, pelvic tilt, belly button in, we press up, push into our heels. So this part's optional, don't think you have to do this. You're going to shift your weight onto one foot, extend the opposite leg out, bring it in lower, and then repeat on the other side. So again, the other option is just to do a bridge, whatever works for you, let's get started in three, two, one. So we lift up, Optional, we extend in and down and repeat. Make sure each time you are tilting your pelvic bone under, squeeze the glutes as you lift up. Awesome. And we're doing another 20 seconds or so here. Again, take your time. Really push into your heels. Feel those hamstrings activating as you lift the hips. Pull the belly button in towards your spine. 10 more seconds here. And we have three, two, one, and relax. Next, we have heel taps. So for this one, I don't know why I picked this because I hate this exercise, but we are going to lift our shoulder blades and our head and neck off the table or the floor, and you're gonna reach for the same side heel alternating sides. You don't actually have to touch your heel, but just reach for it. Make sure you keep your chin towards your chest so we're not bothering the neck. Let's get started in three, two, one. Lift those shoulder blades and we reach, 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 reach. Make sure you keep breathing, keep pulling the belly button in towards your spine. Awesome, almost there. Just kidding, we still have 20 more seconds. Yeah, I hate this exercise. I don't know why I picked it. Have to do things that you don't like every now and then. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Almost there, less than 10 left. We have three, two, one, and relax. Oh my goodness. Okay, what are we doing next? Next we're gonna do another core exercise. 
This one, we're going to lift our legs into that tabletop position that we did for our dead bugs. Now from here, trying to keep our back flat on the ground, we're gonna bring our legs, you can bring your arms out to the side, that might be a little bit more helpful, I just don't have anything besides air right here. We're going to drop our knees to one side, your low back's gonna lift off the ground a little bit, and then pull your belly button in, flatten your back against the floor, bring them back to center. So let's get started there. So we're gonna just switching sides. So it feel nice in the back, a little spinal twist stretch in there, and then pull your belly button in, bring your knees back to center. And just keep switching sides. Again, go at your own pace here. Definitely don't rush this one. Feel those obliques working to pull your legs back to center on the opposite side. If you need a modification for this one, you're gonna bring your feet down to the floor and drop the knees from that position. This one works just as well. A little less stress on the back. All right, we have three, two, one, and rest. Next, we are doing that chest press. So grab the weights that you used for your bicep curl or lower, whatever works for you. We're going to bring our weights up up to our shoulders. My arms are about 45 degrees away from my body, so I'm creating a triangle with the weights to my head, to my face, if that makes sense. So from here, I'm pressing straight up, keeping my hands over my shoulders, and then driving my elbows back down again to that 45 degree angle. So I'm not sticking my elbows straight out to the side. They're also not touching my body. They're right in the middle. So let's get started with that in three, two, one and begin. So bring those weights up to the shoulders, a little bicep curl, and we press and control them on the way down. Press and down. Make sure you're still using your core, press into the floor with your feet, pull the belly button in towards your spine. So come up and then come down, two, three. Press, down, two, three. So make sure you're controlling them on the way down. They're not just plopping down. Good, keep going here. Then we have three, two, one, and rest. We have one more exercise in this circuit before we repeat it all. This next one, we're gonna work the core again. So we're gonna grab one of our weights. If this one's too heavy, then grab something lighter. Keeping our feet flat on the ground, pelvic tilt, pull belly button in, back is flat on the ground. You're gonna press that one weight horizontally from holding each end of the dumbbell with either hand. We're gonna press up overhead. Now from here, I'm gonna work in a range of motion that's comfortable, doesn't bother my shoulders. I'm going to squeeze, engage my core muscles, bring that weight overhead, again, as far as my shoulders allow without feeling any pinching or pain, and then exhale, pull the weight back to overhead. And I am gonna grab a lighter weight for this one. My shoulders don't like that weight. All right, let's get started. Got my timer in three, two, one. So we extend back overhead and exhale, pull it all back in. So this one, you can definitely make it easy if you just kind of relax the core muscles and possibly bring the weight back and forth. But don't do that. Pull your belly button in, engage the core. Exhale big as you pull the weight back to overhead. Don't let it be a passive movement. Try to engage those core muscles as much as you can. Awesome. We have five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, grab some water if you need it. Uh, what to do with all these weights? I'm gonna put them over here. We're gonna do your second round. The last few minutes we have. <laughs> this is not ideal. Okay. Oh, that's good enough. All right, back to our dead bugs. Let's get started. In three, two, one. Tabletop position, reaching up, pull the belly button in. And whoever wanting to do your dead bug, whether it's heel taps to the ground, extending one leg out at a time, adding both arms, whatever works for you that gives you a challenge, but you're able to keep your back 
collapse on the ground the whole time. Awesome, we're more than halfway. So with this one and the single leg extension, the lower you bring your legs, the harder it's gonna be. And then try to use your breath. Inhale as you extend, exhale, pull it all into center. One more time here and rest. All right, let's go into that bridge with a single leg extension. Let's go right away. Ready, three, two, one. We press up into our bridge, extend one leg. That is optional, you can just do your bridge and then switch sides. So each time we're tilting the pelvic bone under, pull belly button in, squeeze the glutes as we lift. Don't skip any of those steps. Make sure you're using your proper form. It'll help feel all those muscles working. 15 more seconds here. Less than 10. We have three, two, one. And my least favorite one next. Oh, I should just skip it. No, we're gonna do it. Okay. Feet are flat on the ground. We're gonna lift up our head and shoulder blades and reach opposite heel. 40 seconds. Ready, three, two, one. We lift up, pull the button in, and we reach. Again, you don't actually have to touch your heel, but just that reaching motion. Obliques, the obliques might be a little sore tomorrow. <sighs> Worked them a lot today. And make sure you're keeping your chin in towards your chest so we're not straining. <sighs> Almost there. Like, you gotta do the things we hate to grow. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, Woo. and rest. All right, we're going back into our windshield wipers. So we go back into our tabletop position, or you can keep your feet on the ground, whatever works best for you. And we drop both knees and feet to one side, and then squeeze, pull belly button in as we lift back to center. Ready, let's begin. So arms are down by our sides or out here. We drop both knees, pull the belly button in back to center and repeat on the other side. So this one feels nice kind of coming down for that stretch in the back and then use your core to bring your legs back to center. Use that exhale. So we inhale and then exhale back to center. Inhale, drop, exhale back to center. We have three, two, one, and relax. All right, we're going into that chest press. We have two more exercises here. Grab your weights for your chest press. Let's see if I can grab them at this awkward angle. All right, let's begin in three, two, one. So arms are at 45 degree angles away from the body. We press up, control three, two, one, on the way down. And then instead of doing the skull crusher for the last exercise, let's do a plank to end class. This, that's the best way to end our classes, I think. One last little challenge. All right, let's do a few more here. We're gonna get three more reps in. Control on the way down. And last one. And control. All right. Bring your weights to the side. Let's go right into our plank. All right, ready? Three, two, one. One, uh, one minute plank and begin. All uh, right, so we're going over our form. We're pressing away from the floor, filling that space between your shoulder blades pressing back into your heels. Lift your hips up slightly so that you're not dipping the low back. Pull your belly button up in towards your spine. You got it. We are about halfway there. Don't forget to breathe. You want a little bit more of a challenge in your plank. 
feel free to add maybe some stepping in and out or some mountain climbers or Spider-Mans. We bring our knee up towards the elbow or you can just hold your plank. We have 10 more seconds. Make sure you're still pressing away from the floor, pulling the belly button in, pressing into your heels. We have three, two, one, and relax. All right, good job, everyone. That is class today.